In this video, we're going to go over how to prepare spread plates. First, you've prepared your cereal dilutions, and now you'll be using those cereal dilutions to make your spread plates. You're going to need to label five nutrient auger plates with numbers one through five, your initials, and the date. Next, you're going to need to add the correct volume from the dilution table in the micro manual to the correct plate. For example, we're going to use plate one, and it will have one mil added from dilution tube two. So we'll use our one mil syringe. We'll draw up some saline from the suspension to mix before we draw up our one mil. Then we'll go all the way to the one mil mark. And then add directly to the center of the plate. Then cover. Next, you're going to pour some rubbing alcohol into a non-flammable container that you can dispose of, like an aluminum pie tin, or you can also make a makeshift one from aluminum foil. Just make sure it's sturdy and it doesn't leak. I just made this out of a piece of aluminum foil that has been folded together several times, and now I'm going to pour a bit of rubbing alcohol, just enough so we can get our spreader with some alcohol on it. Next, we're going to light our candle. Now we're going to dip our spreader that looks just like this into the alcohol. Make sure it gets alcohol on all sides. And you're going to want to tap the excess off. Don't want any excess alcohol on it before you flame it. Then you're going to flame in the candle. So the alcohol is going to catch on fire and sterilize the spreader. Okay, you're going to allow the spreader to cool for about 30 seconds. Next, you're going to touch the spreader to the auger surface and spread the liquid over the plate, paying attention that you are not pushing the liquid into the edges. You're also going to want to rotate as you're spreading around. And every once in a while, just go around the edges to make sure the liquid isn't pulling. You're going to continue doing this until most of the liquid has been absorbed into the auger. Since you're going to be incubating these plates upside down, you don't want any liquid spilling over into the lid of the container. You won't get an accurate dilution reading. So make sure that you try to get all the liquid absorbed into the plate. Once that is completely done, And it takes a while for one mil, so we're just going to skip over that part to show you, but you need to make sure that it's completely in there. You're going to want to dip your spreader again in the alcohol, tap off the excess, and flame. This will sterilize your spreader and allow the flame to die out on its own. Then once you've done all your plates, you want to incubate them at 37 degrees for 24 to 48 hours, depending on how long it takes for them to grow in your own setup at home. And that's how you make spread plates.